Hey everybody, this is Bigwigs, and welcome back to Demon Souls. And I think last time in Demon Souls, we beat the Flame Lurker in Stonefang Tunnel, so this area is almost entirely done. We just have the Arch Demon to fight, and uh, we will have to fight him soon. I think what we're going to do is we're going to fight this area first, then the Arch Demon, and then we'll come back to this area, because this is where the Claymore is, and I want to try out the Claymore. Kind of a really roundabout way to get. We're, we're really kind of skipping through a lot of these other levels, except of course the Shrine of Storms. But I think we'll be able to pull something off. And do we have any equipment issues real quick before I, you know, jump off into it? Yes, we do. I'm glad I remembered. So we'll just talk to Thomas Man. Deposit some items. Oop. Deposit all our stones. A massive stone. We got Greystone. Not a lot of Greystone. We'll have to go back and farm that later. Like off camera later. Do the Great Club. Do need Hands of God. And. We good. Wait. Yeah, 38 out of 100. That's pretty good. So we're going to go right here. This is actually uh, the Phalanx Archstone. This is actually probably where you'll first go. If you're first playing through your game, you'll go to this area. Which makes sense. It's a. Uh, the area you know best, this area you've beaten, you know some of the enemies, you know some of the monsters, you know what to expect, and the world is probably one of the least intimidating, I would say, because the Shrine of Storms is kind of skeleton-y and creepy and seems kind of weird. The, of course, Valley of Defilement is just dark, dank, and poisonous. The uh, Tower of Latria, spooky as fuck. And maybe Stone Fang Tunnel, but like, at, if you first like go out of the tutorial, air quotes tutorial, uh, none of your attacks really do any damage. So this might be the first area you go to after. You know, all said and done. So it should be easy for us. In fact, it, it should be one of the easier ones for everybody. So how are you guys doing, by the way? I'm doing pretty good. This is my birthday today. Uh, nothing special for my birthday, unfortunately. You know, it's uh, kind of a big milestone. Oh. Keep forgetting I don't have a big heavy sword for this anymore. Ooh. But we have uh, lots of you know good things going for us even with this magic weapon. Yeah, it's my birthday. I'm 21 today. Holy shit. I can drink alcohol and do everything. Not that I need it. I think I can get pretty uh pretty stupid without it. We'll see. Only one way to find out. Oh my gosh, these guys are just like leftover remnants of the phalanx. They are, if you two-hand your weapon, you, you won't bounce off their attacks, I think, even if you have like a one-handed sword. Um, but for the most part, they are, uh, they're not difficult, they're fairly weak to magic, as we can see. Two-handed, one-shots them. Come over here and we'll find, uh, our buddy Ostrava, once again. Hello. A bit of a predicament. You look at clear out this below. And he's saying the soldiers behind him are just uh, kind of giving him shit, and he's he's stuck, essentially. Uh, so he says basically get back to him or find that way around him. And he'll be safe. And he won't have to die, and yay! For friendship and magicalness. We gotta help him later. Only because he gives us items. The real friends do. So don't run out onto here. Like I, I'm playing without audio. I thought it's probably said in every single time of this uh, episode. So if you hear like a really discerning dragon scream, ouch! Uh, tell me in the comment section. That way I can look out for it. We'll we'll sp quickly sprint across this. I think we might have actually messed up the timing for that, but at full health with our vitality and even our armor, we uh, barely survived. Okay. Thankfully, we can just do that, and I don't expect to take too much damage here. I don't want to die. Because that entirely depends on where the camera's pointing. I'm at its whims and mercy. Does this have... No, this shield doesn't even have a parry. Good, I don't have to worry about it. That's my feelings on parrying. I can't do them well. Why bother? We are still using the, uh... The Enchanted Falchion. We can probably upgrade our Bastard Sword into something that's a little bit better DPS-wise, but uh, I don't want to spend my resources upgrading the Bastard Sword because I want another weapon. 
I'm being very picky about my weapons, because if I can focus on just one, then I can get to max level fairly early. In fact, we can go from the Enchanted Falchion probably into a max level crushing Claymore. Because we, we've discovered the appropriate farm spot for Claymore, or for Greystone and whatnot. Ooh, you. So, I mean, while we have, like, remained fairly stationary as far as damage goes with this weapon, we'll have a much more effective scaling weapon. Shortly. We do have to beat this whole level first. And then most of the next level. So, I mean, it's not great, but we got a pretty good shield. In fact, I might want to consider uh, upping my shield. I think this gave you some curse resistance. Was it poison resistance? Or was it fire resistance? That would be nice. What am I doing with the generator ring? Gash resistance. Resistance is bleeding. Um, that would have been actually kind of useful against uh, the skeletons, because I think they cause bleeding damage. However, hey, Ashdrava. Thank you. What up? Dark moon grass. That just, I think, fully heals you. And I think it removes, also removes all your status ailments. That's kind of like an elixir. Pretty useful stuff. And we'll walk around with our shields up a lot over here because there's dogs. And this should be like your first encounter with dogs as well. If not in the Stone Fan Tunnel, then definitely here. You'll probably hear really disconcerting things again that I won't hear. And then I'll be really shocked and scared. Oh no, there's dogs. Oh, I know. Down here is when we'll start hearing scary noises. And it's almost beneficial to me because, of course, my brightness is a little bit screwed up. But, well, we'll leave it as is. Oh, you. Okay. Thank you for, uh, thank you for scaring me. Yeah, well, I should upgrade my shield, I think, is what I really should focus on. Because, uh, I think for the next few levels, rather than, uh, doing a shit ton of damage I won't need the shield, I'll probably end up, uh, Having to block a lot of shit. Hello, dog. Strong attacks. Strong attacks. Because I can kill him with strong attacks. All right, regenerator's ring once again. Damn near priceless. Oh, ho, ho. and I say that because you know these dogs don't do much damage. Oh, they would if I didn't have a very good, or not very good, but pretty good armor and pretty good health. Comparatively to everything else. Um, the regenerator rings can just... The regenerator's ring can just top me off. Keep me close to full. So even though... So while I'm in these easy levels, while I'm just sort of walking around exploring, doing my thing, I can sort of kick back, relax, and uh, focus on other things. So we have uh, the merchant man here again. He is where we will buy the claymore from. I don't think he sells it yet, though. He sells long swords, clears... Clears? Yeah, short clear there. He also sells you uh, some plate things. I agree with some of the soldiers. They're they're heavy, and we have really good girl armor right now. Actually, I might just buy like a hat. Can I do that from you? Hello. Cause I ain't got a hat yet. A hat. Uh, a thousand. We got a thousand plate helmet. And hopefully, it doesn't put us over the equip burden. Not equip burden, but uh, item burden. So at that, we're at 112. With it, we're at 125. And once again, my place is in three. Struggling with the amazingness of this game. Oh, it's just that. Nice little, little top hat for us. Keeps, keeps the rain off of our shoulders. Really, that's all it's good for. But, you know, screwing around there has let all of our health fully regen. Which is a, you know, it's a small blessing, but it's a blessing nonetheless. We should count it. Two dudes over here, and of course the dragon solved all our problems for us, despite being a, uh, a really big problem for us. Now, if I had enough bow shots, I could shoot this dragon to death. And that's a really good idea, because then I could, you know, run down, I could loot all the things over here that are going to show up. I don't have to worry about him swooping down and killing me. Well, we're not going to do that. We is gonna do. Step out right here. I'm gonna play this calmly and coolly. Is there a dude behind me? There is. Well, what do you fucking know? 
Get the fuck out of here. Yes, I'm still one-shotting enemies, which is the main thing that I really want out of a, out of a weapon. When you get to the point where you can one-shot uh, these smaller enemies, then the level just comes easy because you don't need to time your shots so much. You can just hit them, run up, hit them real quick, and be done with them. Okay, so I stood a little bit too close to that right there. We're going to stand back for a few feet. We want this dragon to swoop back around and then we'll run up behind it. There we go. And then we'll have to quickly run up to where those enemies are, because that's how we know it's safe. Is where those enemies are. Kill them! And then be done with this whole dragon business. There is one of these uh, blue dudes here. They are not problem anymore, because we fully block all their attacks. So nice having a shield. Like I said, I've done... I've done most of this game with another character who was primarily uh, ma magic focused, so I didn't have a good shield. And it wasn't looked like I was going to get a good shield. Now I can just sort of stand back and, you know, just fuck people up, essentially. So nice. Just really nice. And we're actually near the end of the... Not even near the end of we're at the We're at the boss right here. Just destroy these barrels. Things. So we actually might get in uh, the Archdemon as well. Just because this level is very, very straightforward. Although, uh, down here leads to some special things. But we'll go to, come, back, come back to that later. Let's go through here and we'll fight our really big scary boss. As you see, the massive shield there. He's scary looking. But there's a, there's a, pr there's a, a method to this first. You see that fat mess up there? Something crossbowmen. We have to kill those men first. Which means we will ignore this person for now. Hopefully he doesn't hit us. Because like I said, you guys hear things a little bit better than I do. So try to get too mad if, you know, someone screams, I'm going to punch you in the face! And then I totally let him because I just didn't see it coming. It's basically what this man over here is saying. We hear that charge noise. You know, it's amazing how he doesn't actually do a single bit of damage to those people. I think right here in this corner is safe. So if you do have the regenerator's ring. Whoa. Then you are safe just standing there and letting yourself uh, get some heals. I'm actually probably quite safe just behind my shield. But maybe not from a direct attack. If you just keep moving along this edge, killing these people, then uh, you should come out of this pretty okay. Despite, you know, the appearances. And then we have some friendly things. Well, not friendly things, but there are things in here. The attack is feet. They'll, it'll still do damage to its actual HP, but, um... Oh. He does damage to his HP, but it will also uh, stagger him after a while. Ooh, I probably should have stood on it, but I have just a lot of HP. Not great armor. Oh, God, no, I'm falling. Uh, this attack is crawling. I think his head actually does uh, more damage. We'll put two things left in here. There we go. You don't even need to heal yet. Well, maybe not yet. It really does depend how much damage he does with his uh, little spear stab. Oh! Big shield drop. Drop the base. Yeah, I was actually a little bit too close to him right there. By, by, by a little too close, I meant for him I was too close. Oh, he's already back down. And we actually have access to his face. So yeah, hitting his face, way more damage, apparently. That was kind of figured. We attain a demon soul. And we didn't die at all this level, which is great, because it increases the world tendency up to white. Just that little bit more. It's not too important, because or I'm not too worried about white world tendency events. But it makes the game easier. 
and it drops more healing items. And just all sorts of, you know, it's nice. If you're going for like a completionist run or trying to get super powerful super late, you'd go black. And never go back. No, but normally the claim where we want is through the next area. But as you can see, there is a colorless gray fog. We cannot enter through it. It prevents us from doing so. To do that, you need a greater power, aka an Archdemon Soul. And we actually have access to one, and rather than end this episode, you know, early-ish, let's just go get it. Yeah. And we might even upgrade our shield a bit. Hmm. We have a few toys. We upgrade the shield or we can upgrade our bow. The bow would be nice. Although I don't think we even have the resources to upgrade the bow. No, we do. I think we upgrade it twice. And I have I've expressed interest in doing so. We could actually get this into a crushing compound short bow. Which would just be fantastic. Let's see, we'll upgrade this twice. Do come. So what we do now? Well, we have souls. We could level. Actually, what, what stones does it take to upgrade my shield? Hard stone. Surprise, surprise. Um, I think we'll just level up. Although, our, it does cost money to buy the thing that I want to buy. Because we have to buy the claymore. It costs like 20,000 souls. Ugh. We can level up. Maybe twice. So let's see what we got. More than enough dexterity. More than we'll ever need. Strength would be good. Endurance is nice just for that equip burn to rise up a little bit more, but we don't necessarily need it. So strength vitality might be the ones we want to do. We'll do one more in strength. One more in butt. One more in vit. And then we'll come over here to the Arch of the Burkane. We'll go to Flame Lurker Archstone. Have a grand old time with it. All these NPCs you show, you see um, coming up are all important. If you find one, it usually means there's something special you can do with them. You know, some sort of interaction. St. Urbain uh, sells you miracles and things once you find him and save him. He's in the second part of the Shrine of Storms. And, uh, well, who's really important is actually uh, Patches, who we skipped over once. He's in other areas of the game. He's basically a dick that screws you over at every possible turn. But he's got, like, really good items for sale. Anyways. Let's just come over here and forget about Patches for a second. We are coming up to the Dragon God Demon. He sounds pretty scary, doesn't he? he is. Um, although I should be... It's not necessarily... Yeah, that's was... When his eyes turn red, it means he sees you. When his eyes turn yellow, it means he's looking for you. So he's never not looking for you. We need to run up to that second pillar up there. We had a chance when we first looked away. So come on, look away a little bit more. Hang out right here. He's looking for us again. And we're just gonna, like, inch our way over them, essentially. Just, yep. So the idea of this is we're sneaking past them. That's something over there that we'll need to grab later for a quest. It's for Skurver, so we don't really need it. But uh, you'll you'll see some things in our ways. So um, be really nice if we didn't keep looking over there. But I also think it's a bit inevitable. So what we'll do is we'll probably just uh, two hand the sword, sprint over there. Oh, hang out here. Are you punching something? The whole screen is shaking. Ooh, that's a scary look. We'll get the shield back up. Although, we do have to break more things. So when it looks like we'll sprint back over, that's that's the basis of this boss fight. You'll see how we do damage later. Whoa! Did he grab me? Get off me. Get off of me! There we go. Stop. 
screw it. I'm running for it. It's just over here. Operate. So there's like a big spear gun that's just lying around. And uh, it stabs them. And there's only two of these, and we only need two of them. Because as you'll see with his health, cutscene, hopefully you two don't copyright it. Stabs. Basically like stabs his armpit. Like the, like the worst nipple piercing in the world, technically. Then he breaks an area that we can run down to. Yeah, as you can see, his health, not in the best of spots. We'll come down here. A little bit of damage there, but we got a Stone of Thermal Eyes for our troubles. Now he's really looking forward to punching us in the face. We're hiding behind these pillars some more. I think we actually just run behind this pillar right here, and then he can't see us at all. So I think he jerks his head up after a while. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. The reason you do want to two-hand your weapon here is because then you don't bounce off of it. You can also, fun fact, shoot spells or arrows at these things and not have to worry about them at all. In fact, can we actually illustrate that with some arrow shooting prowess with two arrows? No, we cannot. Display it's two arrows. Well, shit. Oh, we're so sneaky unless he sees us here. Then we're just stupid. But I think just standing in the shadows is a good representation of where and where, and where not you can stand. Hello. I glow in the dark. Kind of. Look at this weird aura around me. That's from the Crescent Falchion. Increases my mana region. That's why it's such a good weapon for mages. Good overpowered weapon for mages. It's early on the game. Can carry you to the end game if you level up your magic stat properly. Very good weapon. Would recommend it. It's even good for other classes since you do like no stats to whoop, to equip it. And what's that over there? There's nobody. Oh guy, he's gonna punch us here. Possibly. He might not. I don't think he saw us. As much as I want that crystal lizard, uh, it's more important to do this. I think I heard somewhere say there's a glitch in this game that prevents you from like continuing on with the entire game if it activates. So hopefully that doesn't occur. I mean I imagine it'd be like the most atrocious thing in the world to get this far and then have to whoops start over. <laughs> I am gonna get you. You stupid lizard. You should have ran away. Alright. We doing good now. And hey. Master's ring. That's a good weapon. Or not good weapon, a good ring. That increases the damage of direct attacks by 15%. And that's like a really kind of weird mechanic this has this game. So if you only like clip an enemy ever so slightly with your sword or your weapon, then you'll do a fraction of the damage. I'm not entirely sure how much of the fraction. Yeah, let's do this from the other side. You see, normally you'd want to do this with arrows, and we actually might have some arrows we can do this with. If uh, I take a second and look through them. In fact, I don't think he goes anywhere. Let's see. Bolts, arrows. We have heaven arrows. Let's see how these work. And we'll just... Uh, they don't do anything. Actually, maybe I have to hit this. Oh, they do a very small denominator of damage. We'll just use all of these right here. And then we'll try to time this so he's not breathing out what appears to be fire. And we're gonna have to hit him. Oh god. That actually barely does any damage at all to him. Jesus. Oh my god. Good. You can get killed here! That would be ridiculous!
Oh, wow. What's Rollins? Finish him off? Yeah? Yeah, he did. He did. He was destroyed. You still resist the demon. So, anyways, this is going to be one of the. Sh oh, it's not really one of the short episodes. It's just a, a very active. We did a lot of shit episode. So, of an arch demon, the thick colors fog shall oppress you no more. So, now we can go get the claymore. That's fairly deep into the next level, though. About halfway through it. So, we'll save it for next episode. Legendary Soldier Soul, that'll be useful. So, we will just turn the Nexus. Ah. Be all proud of ourselves because we didn't die this episode despite killing two bosses. They're two pretty easy bosses, though. If you know, the Arch Demon bosses are kind of gimmicky. Two of them are kind of gimmicky. This one's very gimmicky, which makes it easy as fuck. And the uh, Shrine of Storms one make is also pretty gimmicky, although it requires a bit more finesse, a bit more skill on the player's side than the Dragon one did. Anyways, you. My corporal flesh has my body gone run. He's gonna die soon. Which is like not be there. He's like all. Ooh. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.